Right. How does it cause stroke? Okay, well, the way the blood pressure affects the blood vessels, it can occur in two different ways. It can either cause blood vessel damage, which then leads to blood clots, and those can go to the brain, or it can cause smaller blood type vessel damage, which then causes bleeding in the brain, and that's, that's a stroke, then you don't want that. No, I don't want that at all. How about uh, heart failure? How does high blood pressure cause heart failure? Well, it, the, the heart's a pump. And you can imagine if you had a pump in your yard that was just constantly on, under constant pressure, eventually the pump wears out. The same effect happens to the heart. When you have high blood pressure, you're putting the heart under a lot of strain, and eventually it just wears out and enlarges and it starts to fail. Now that's heart failure, so the heart sort of gets tired of pumping all that time? It gets tired. Hey, how about heart attacks then? So, what, how does it cause a heart attack? Well, high blood pressure affects the lining of the blood vessels, which then causes platelets that congregate inside that blood vessel, along with cholesterol, cuts off blood flow to your heart, then you lose part of your heart. That's a heart attack. Don't want to have that either. And that's a bad thing. So you don't want to have a stroke and you don't want to have heart failure and you don't want to have heart attacks. Tell me, what is high blood pressure? What are the numbers and why do people, you know, how do you get those numbers? Well, it, the way those numbers came about is we just looked at people's blood pressures versus their risk of dying from a heart attack or stroke. And we found that for the vast majority of people, their blood pressure should be less than 120 over 70. And then as you start to double your, your as you start to increase your high blood pressure, the top number called the systolic blood pressure. That's the systolic, that's, that's the right. other one. Every, Should be 120, you want it 120. 120, so when it, once it gets to 140, every time it goes up by 20 points, your risk doubles. Whoa. Your risk of having a heart attack or stroke doubles. The bottom number, the diastolic blood pressure, every time it goes up 10 points, your risk doubles. So top number 20 is doubling. The bottom number diastolic, every time it goes up 10, your wrist doubles.